Greetings, YouTubers. It's the Ridge Raider here. Sunday, December 30th. Uh, super heavy rains last couple days. Somewhere around five inches. Pretty hard, so. I've checked this spot. You guys have seen it a couple times, uh, but it's fairly fresh. It's only got, I don't know, four or five rains on it. So maybe, maybe I'll get lucky and uh, you guys will get to see it. So uh, walk with me here as I look. That's nothing. Uh, anyway, if I find something as usual, you'll know it over now. Hey guys, I'm back here. Uh, done a lot of walking and haven't found very much at all. Actually, just a couple of flakes up until this point right here. Uh, and this isn't much. I'm just show you. Probably a little more amount in there with one of the ears broke off. It's not really much. But I'm just going to show you guys all this. I have walked each one of these knolls, these ridgetop peaks. And basically not a flake until I get right here. And I'm seeing, seeing some. But my goal is to go to the top right up there. And like I say, I'm seeing more and more sign right through here. But it's not a whole lot. But just to, to show you that those, that tree line way over there. About 100 yards past that is another clear cut just like this. And I have found all kinds of stuff and you, that you guys have seen in these videos. That really nice Kirk corner and several other, you know, white quartz points. But anyway... The difference between over there and over here is night and day so far, and it just goes to show you that there's hot spots, but you have to just find them. And that's the hard part, is doing the legwork to know where to come back to. So, anyway, so I'd, I would uh, share that little bit with you. Uh, more if I find something up there. If not, I'm, I'm heading out. So, for now, over and out. Okay, guys, I've walked about three miles or something and found very little. I walked over the top of that ridge I showed you guys earlier and down the other side just a little ways. Uh, not much showing. I'm walking a drag road coming the opposite direction. I see this. I, I'm not sure if it's anything at all, but let's just... Uh, to see no it's just a flake but it's a good sign I've not seen a whole lot of these okay guys more if I find anything over out okay guys sun is going down on me and and just so that you'll know I would not give up just so you guys would have something to watch here. I'm probably, I'm, I don't know, I'm 100 yards from the truck or so, and I have just completely exhausted myself. But anyway, I have walked up on something that looks pretty nice right there. Uh, I don't know if that tip's going to be there or what, but let's just, oh, What is this? Such beautiful quartz Morrow Mountain. And I believe, whoops, that that's going to be, oh yeah, translucent. Check that out. I'm going to have to get a still shot of that. Anyway, guys, maybe there'll be something between here and the truck, but I doubt it. So, if nothing else, I will post just this before the end of the year. Thanks for watching, guys. Over and out. Okay, guys, it's been about five minutes or so since I found that last uh, really nice quartz Morrow Mountain that you guys saw. Which, by the way, was in, within about, I don't know, six or eight feet of the last time that I was here and found that other Morrow Mountain and that Kirk. 
So all within six or eight feet of that, that one I just found, uh, lots of flakes too right there. But uh, this heavy rain's really done wonders here. But I saw a little sliver of something that I thought was a flake and I flipped it with my stick. You can guys see where it was here. Sorry, right here. And that's what we got. So let's go ahead and save this one. What do you say? A little damage right there. Also in the Mara Mountain family quartz, but not as high of a grade as that one I just found. So anyway, nice to find something finally after walking, I don't know, four miles today or something. But anyway, I doubted earlier that I would find something headed to the truck, but I was wrong. There it is. You just never know. All right, guys, over and out. Okay, guys, uh, I thought this was a flake also. It's a pretty neat piece, translucent as well, but tip ding, very, very recent, as you can see right there. And like I said, I'm working my way to the truck. And a little private joke, inside joke. Get on my level, Sammy. You know who you are. All right, guys, over and out. Well, right there's the road. There's the edge of the dirt. And I'm just in this big mound. You guys see in that looks to be just a big broke Appalachian. That's exactly what it is. Maybe recent, I can't tell. That's a shame. I would have loved to have had that one complete. But uh, just like Indian Trace says, it's not over till you step off the dirt. And right there it is, the road. So if you're watching Indian Trace, I like that little statement from you guys. But anyway, that's gonna be it, guys. So uh, I hope everybody has a happy new year and happy hunting, over and out. Okay guys, just real quickly, I was gonna show you what these artifacts look like uh, cleaned up. Uh, the last one I found was this big Appalachian here. Uh, it's a real shame on that one. Sugar quartz, uh, pretty nice. Would have been. I believe that's an old break. Um, this Morrow Mountain that uh, is really translucent. It's got a band in it, as you can see right there. Um, and this other one, just a little ding on it. And as you can see, that th this thing has been sitting still in the same place for a really long time to get all of these little inclusions in it. I may soak this one in some vinegar or something like that to try to eat some of that out of there. Uh, just to see if it'll come out. And this other piece, very translucent as well. See there? Anyway, uh, tip ding also, but that's, I don't know, five and a half miles or something of walking is what I ended up with. So anyway, there again, you guys have a happy new year and we'll see you in 2019. Over and out.